Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, a project manager, Sunshine Resources. In this video, I'm going to show you a soap making software called Soap Maker 3. Now, this is an excellent software that every soap maker should have. In a short while, I'm going to show you the features of Soap Maker 3. But before then, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing so that you can have instant access to our videos each time we upload them. Now let me quickly put a disclaimer here. Soap Maker 3 software is not going to prepare or make your soap for you. You will do all the mixing by yourself. But Soap Maker 3 software will take absolute care of the back end of your soap business. If you have been struggling with spreadsheets, paper records, or web-based light calculator, Soap Maker 3 will make it super easy for you and help you focus on great product. Now let me say here that Soap Maker 3 is also good for even non-soap makers. For example, if you are making lotion, you can use Soap Maker 3 to calculate the amount of recipe that you need for your lotion. Soap Maker 3 helps you to organize all your recipe, keep track of all your inventory of product purchases and usage. It has a lie calculator in it. Um, it has an embedded lie calculator. You can also use Soap Maker 3 to make purchases of all the recipes or ingredients you require for your soap making. You can use Soap Maker 3 to calculate the individual cost of your recipes and place an order to a supplier. Another thing that you can use Soap Maker 3 to do is you can use Soap Maker 3 to predict your soap quality even before you manufacture them. Um, in a while, I'm going to show you um, how to do this. And just like I said earlier, Soap Maker 3 has um, an embedded lie calculator. Okay. Now, now let me bring Soap Maker 3 to my desktop. I have already downloaded and installed it on my system. Let me click on it. All right, I, I have already um, activated Soap Maker 3 on my desktop. Well, as you can see, um, you have some menus at the top. I'm going to select the right menu that we're going to use right now. But before then, let me just do some little demonstration showing you how you can use Soap Maker 3 to keep inventory of your recipe. Now, let's, let, me, let me start by saying that supposing you purchase 1000 gram of caustic soda and then you also purchase 8000 ml of palm kernel oil. You can use Soap Maker 3 to draw your first batch production. Okay, I'm going to do that in a while, but before then, I just want to draw some demonstration. Now, supposing in your first batch production, you consumed about 200 gram of caustic soda. Okay, you consume 200 gram of caustic soda, and you also you also consume 400 ml of palm kernel oil. Remember, since you are using Soap Maker 3 software to draw the batch production, after the production, you will be having a in stock recorded by your Soap Maker 3 as follows. You will, you will have 800 grams of caustic soda left and 7,600 ml of PKO left. Okay, now this is, this is because you have consumed 200 grams of caustic soda and so you are left you're left in stock 800 gram and then you have consumed 400 ml of um, palm kernel oil you have now 7600 ml of palm kernel oil left so this is what i mean by soap maker 3 we keep inventory of all the stock after every batch of production now before i go into showing you some of the features of soap maker 3 let me let you know that the version of Soap Maker 3 that I'm using here is a free version, okay? And the features of the Soap Maker 3 version is limited, okay? Now, for example, I will not be able to make purchases or place an order using this version. But if you want to make purchases or place an order using Soap Maker 3, you will have to get a pro version of it. So. In the description box below this video, I have dropped a link that you can use to get both the free version and the pro version. And now let me show you some of the features of the Soap Maker 3, the free version. 
okay now while you are on this interface the first thing you do is you come to my recipe come to my recipe it's going to pop up um, a small window my recipe window is going to pop up while you are on the my recipe window just come to this um on the right hand side of new there's a small arrow there point your point your mouse to that arrow is going to give you some drop down menu then you have the solid soap that is the sodium hydroxide you have the liquid soap potassium hydroxide you have the cream soap that is a mixture of potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide and you have the non soap obviously the non soap is not highlighted here but these three are highlighted you now pick the one that you want say let's let's go with the solid soap let me click on solid soap all right when you click on the solid soap it's going to pop up a new window that has um about one two three four five six um menu you will see a new pop-up and on this new pop-up you will see items like base oil light for slash water additives fatty acid options and note now i'm going to show you um, the content of all this menu but the first thing i'm going to do is that let me go to this option first now let me start with the option with this option, you can adjust the units of your measurements to whatever kind of unit that you want. Now, for example, let's look at water volume unit. I don't want it in cups. I want my water volume unit to be in meal. So I'm going to change this one to meal. Now, recipe volume unit is cups. I don't want it in cups. I'm going to change it to meal. And then calculated weight here i don't want this unit i want to change it to let me leave it at um, gram i'm going to leave it at gram okay i think that's what i want to do here so now let's go back to base oil uh -huh. let's go back to base oil all right now this software provides you with a lot of options you can pick from any of the oil that has been provided this software soap maker 3 has catalog of oil that you want to use for your soap production okay now supposing i want to use palm kernel oil okay i've already picked palm kernel oil and i want to use um olive oil i want to add olive oil to it so i'll just come here and select olive oil okay now on the right hand side i'm going to i'm going to first let me change this um this unit to meal i want my oil to be in meal and i also want this one to be in meal that's the unit i've changed it to meal so now let me write down my unit so i want my palm corner i want my palm canning oil to be 800 meal 800 meal okay and i want my olive oil to be 200 meal that's a total of 1000 meal okay now as soon as you do that you will notice that some other data has pop up right here i can see the percentage of each of my oil for example the palm kernel oil which is 800 mil is 79.9 percent and the olive oil which is 200 mil is 20.1 percent so i've seen my, my ingredients in percentage okay now percentage of recipe now is, this is 52.2 percent and this is 13.1 percent now weight in gram now this is the weight of my palm kernel oil is going to be 729.60 gram and my olive oil is 183.40 gram so um so soap maker 3 is already given me a lot of data concerning the input i've made here now just like i told you earlier now if i were using the pro version of the soap maker 3 it will automatically give me the cost of what I have selected okay if you give me the cost of what i have selected so we have done we are done with um with our selection of base oil let's move to lye now let's move to lye water okay now this is lye water now this place will give me the opportunity to determine the amount of water that i need for my caustic soda for example i want to use about 300 gram of caustic soda i'm going to call to this part and say water lie ratio click on this radio button that say water lie ratio okay and inside here i want to use 300 gram of caustic soda i'm going to type in 300 gram 
Now, as soon as I do that, you will notice that some data have popped up down here. Okay, I have here 41,815.04 gram. That is the water that I need to dilute this 300 gram of the caustic soda. Okay, that is the water that I need to dilute this 300 gram of the caustic soda. Or invariably, it's the same thing, the same value. If I want to use mil or gram, the same thing is 41,815.04 mil of water. That is the amount of water I would need to dilute to dilute my caustic soda, 300 gram of caustic soda. So just like I told you earlier, this software has a lie calculator. So this is the lie calculator aspect of it. And um, now if you want to add some other ingredients, you now come to this um, menu that says additives. You can select your additives. There are some additives that you can add to it. For example, you have some other base oil that you want to add to it. You have some blend, you have color and essential oil. That's what this EO means and herbs. For example, if there's anything you want to add to it, you can select them from here. And um, so that is all for additives. Let's go to fatty acid. Um, this menu is going to show you based on the quantity and the kind of oil you have selected. This menu is going to show you the level of saturated fatty acid that you have in your soup and the level of unsaturated fatty acid that you have in your soup. Okay, very important. And um, this um, menu will also show you some relative qualities based on what you have selected for example if you look um, to the right here you will see hardness 7.4 fluffy ladder 7.7 .7, stable ladder 2.9 and moisturizing 4.1 now this uh, information i'm getting about the soap that i've not even manufactured but based on the uh, measurement that i've taken this is the predicted quality of my soup okay so that's all for data let's go to option option initially I've, i think this was the first uh, menu i worked on here you can use this place here to um, adjust your measurement units okay that's what i did initially when i first um opened the um, soap maker 3 you can use this menu to adjust your measurement to the unit you want and here you have whatever note you want to write down you can write down now additional information that you can use soap maker 3 to get is for example um let's go to this uh, graph here click on this graph now when you click on this graph here it's going to give you a pop-up that will show you some graphical representation for example you have the hardness you have the fluffy ladder you have the stable ladder you have the moisturizing ladder now as you can see the as you can see there are two bars here you have the whitish bar and you have the blue bar now the whitish bar um, let's look at the key now let's look at the key um, the whitish bar is the benchmark the blue bar is the standard that the soap we are about to manufacture has given okay now you will notice that for the hardness you will notice that um, my soap is going to be very hard because you can see that the blue bar is far taller than the whitish bar okay my soap is going to be very very hard it means that with this um, data that I have my soap is going to be very hard because it has overshoot the benchmark now let's look at the fluffy ladder likewise the fluffy ladder the fluffy ladder this is the benchmark you can see that the blue bar is so high it means that my the soap that I'm going to manufacture with the data that I have right now the fluffy ladder is going to be too high okay because this this is the benchmark it has overshoot the benchmark now let's talk about the stable uh, ladder the stable ladder um, my soup is poor here because it is below the benchmark okay the moisturizing moisturizing you can see now the blue bar is far lower than the whitish bar that means that my soup is not a good moisturizer because um, the blue bar is far below the most whitish bar so these are some of the information that you can get from your from from soap maker 3 
As you can see, I've not even done the soap yet, but I have access to a lot of data concerning the soap that I'm going to manufacture. And this is really good for quality control check. Now, long, even before you process your soap ingredients or soap recipe, you already know the quality or have an idea of the kind of soap you're going to produce. And this is what Soap Maker Tree does for you. So just like I said earlier, I've dropped the link in the description box below this video for those of you that want to get both the free version and the pro version. So thank you very much for watching and God bless you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our website on www.sunshineresources dot org dot ng you can visit our youtube channel on youtube.com forward slash c forward slash sunshine resources srtv you can also follow us on our facebook page on sunshine resources thank you very much for watching and god bless you